Hello there, everyone. My name is Grace Co, and I am taking over, take over. I am your host tonight. Um, a little bit about me. Let's see, what can I share? Um, I'm 24. I work in television. Some people might know me from kids TV. Um, that's really about all there is to me. I don't really know why I'm here tonight. Good mates with our director, John, I guess. But I guess the whole point of this is that we're talking reality. So thank God for my panel tonight because they know all about reality. We have Jessica Power from Married at First Sight, of course. Hi, yeah. Jess. Looking beautiful as always. We have Michael Beveridge, who some may know as a Life is a prison. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but we're just trying to make the most of it. And we have our super fan, of course, Crystal Waters. What up, Crystal? Hey. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Again, I don't know why I'm here. One, I don't know nothing about reality. Is that Two, metaphorical? Are we trying to get deep here? <laughs> What is the reason any of us are in this world? It, yeah, that's actually it. It was a much broader statement of just, I'm really looking for help right now. And so I thought, who better to call than three strangers and have a chat about reality hey, st- Straight up, though, life is miserable at the moment, but what is giving me more joy than anything is Bachelor in Paradise. I hate that I have become literally an addict to the drama that is Kieran the giant walking yeast infection. All right. <laughs> well, as, okay, as someone who hasn't been watching and doesn't know, can you give me the Michael Beveridge super cut um, elevator pitch of what's been happening? Because I don't oh, know what's been happening. Of Batchy in Paradise? Yeah, 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 yeah. Men suck. Alicia okay. rules. Is that uh, it? Well, Not yeah. Alicia. Alicia is the queen. <laughs> like, you know, Kira puts herself up there. But I'm like, look, I love Kira, but Alicia, man, she's... Oh, I'll give you the real, the quick brief down. Obviously, Batchy in Paradise features favourites from uh, Batchy's of yore. Obviously, there are some faces that you don't remember, but there are some big players this year. Abby, Kieran, Tim, a couple of others that I can't remember. But the the Kieran, the the turnaround, you, you might remember Junkie and Pedestrian just doing all of these like hero pieces on Kieran last year. He was like this saviour of modern feminine feminist man who was in touch with his emotions. Well, bloody shock horror. He's just a giant fuck boy. He played about 50 different people. I can only imagine the sort of like bacterial infections going on in that dude's luggage. Him and Tim are bad news together. I don't personally think Tim's that bad that is that bad of a dude by himself, but together they have this really shitty patriarchal archaic view of like masculinity and relationships and women and he was fucking shredded on national TV. I can only imagine the sort of shit people that are sliding into his DMs right now. Oh, damn. Oh. Actually, Je- I want to hear Jess now. Jess, yeah. you say about that? Jessica, actually, interestingly enough, you have an ex who's on Bachelor in Paradise. Is that correct? Who? Yes, Maddie. I've got Matt. His- Holy shit, he's so cool. I love that dude. Oh, <laughs> dude don't say that. He's an ex. What are you doing, Michael? Oh, oh no. <laughs> he's not good. Broke up with me to be on the show. Oh, oh, I like met his sorry. parents like the week before he was to fly to Fiji, which I still always had like no idea about. And yeah, he he was like, I, I don't want to go on the show. I don't want to do it, babe. I want to be say here with you. And I was like, look, it's an amazing opportunity, and if you get another chance in reality, you should take it. But this he's like, no, 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 no. Parents, and then <gasps> bam, next minute he's in he's in um Bachelor, and the girl that he's hooking up with. Renee and they planned. Kieran's ex. Yeah. Oh, God. They planned for weeks together to hook up on um to hook up on the island. That's what a lot of Bachi stars and Bachelorette stars do. They they um yeah. have these little alliances that they end up forming oh. in, the, in the holiday in the villa or whatever it is, so they can um, stay on the show for longer. Just put your hands up. Okay, hang on. Oh my God. Okay, so going back. So last night's episode, uh, Renee. I've been like, watching it, so you have to capture me up. Okay. Oh. So according all over to, it. Uh, yeah, I've got this. <laughs> according to all the edits of whatever they're doing, Renee and Kieran were together apparently a week before they were like in a relationship up to a week before 
uh, going to Fiji, apparently. And Kieran said something along the lines of, oh, look, we can try this in Fiji or see what it is. Renee bought a ring, like an $800 ring. It was all centered around last night's episode. Trashy. Bought this ring to give to him as a birthday present. Oh, okay. Anyway. Yes, okay, so sorry. Sometime, okay, so between that week prior to them going to Fiji, Kieran also hooked up with uh, the girl that he's with, Kiki. Uh, I don't know about Renee and Matt because I didn't know that that was a thing until you obviously told me, but obviously they're together. Uh, Just finding out all this new goss about that is now, like, making me think, um, did Renee really just chuck an $800 ring out there? Yeah. Like, or Bro, like, that's or, like one quarter of a post on, on the gram. 800 this is, is so juicy. Michael what? Wait, Kieran and Matt, what was the fight about? I, all I've seen was on Matt's Instagram, he put, oh, he was crapping on about something. Kieran, Kieran actually inboxed me and he was like, um, he goes, can you stir the shit with Matt? Because like, every, apparently I've had messages from Kieran, I've had messages from Tim and a few of the other guys that are on You're there. getting all the messages. Apparently Maddie, Maddie's... Like a lot was shown um a lot wasn't shown on camera because it wouldn't paint Matt out to be the villain, but right now he's being made out to look like the good one. Okay. Yeah, Matt, Matt yeah. okay. So Kieran looks like on a scale of one to ten, Kieran looks like negative fifty. Yeah. Uh, Tim is like negative three. Matt looks like he looks good. Um he doesn't look like a genius, but he looks he looks honorable in his intentions with Renee. Uh but yeah, Kieran looks fucked. Wow. And the whole, the whole, the whole issue is, and Crystal brought it up. I'm watching it, hating myself, but yeah. I'm watching it with my girlfriend, and I'm like, this just looks like we're over, like we're eavesdropping on a really attractive, rich group of like Pete friends in high school. Like they all know each other. Like someone mm. rocked up when Renee rocked up. I don't know who Renee was, and I don't think a lot of other people knew who Renee was. And everyone's like, Renee's here, and then. Bloody uh, Narangas, like, oh, I spent, I was, well, we were in Bali together. And I'm like, how the fuck do you guys know each other? And then Jess Brody was like, oh, you know, I, like, because I was, I'm friends with her. And I knew she was friends with Abby. But then when Kieran stopped hooking up with Abby and then started hooking up with Jet, I'm like, this is all just a real horny friendship group. And and mm-hmm. they've just been given a TV show and a return trip to to Fiji. Where's I my feel... shitty ugly friend's trip to Fiji? <laughs> I personally feel like I am your friend that goes to a different school, but you guys are catching me up on all the goss that's happening at school with all the popular kids. And yeah, I'm just like, oh. you go to boarding school and you've popped oh. back to your small country yeah. town. I'm like, oh, hey guys, are you all good? And you're like, everyone's no. dead. <laughs> they went to Fiji and shit went down. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. Well, I'm just going to. Go back over here. Um, very intense. This is so exciting. I want to get more. I feel like Jess I'm different. very invested. Yeah. Like so, so Jess, so Matt broke up with you. How long were you guys together? Yeah, we were seeing each other for about. Oh, we were together for about three months. That's it like a short amount of time. That's a decent and amount. Of time. Yeah. He introduced me to his family, like his mom, his dad. His dad's a rig. Yeah, his dad's his dad's a G. I love his dad. I love his dad. He um he messages me every now and then, like comments on my photos. And Matt's like, I don't think my dad can. I don't think my dad realizes that everyone can see your comments on photos. Oh my god! Oh, get- absolutely <laughs> love a dad stalk Matt on the green. Girlfriend now. Matt has a new girlfriend now. She what is- the? F- what? So him and Renee aren't together? He's nah. He's dating Kim Harnett from Love Island. Oh, from God. Season, season one. This all is how new reality TV shows are so. This is it's like all incestuous. We all know oh. everyone's business. We've all been with each other. Damn. I mean, we've been around with us. Amongst reality TV hot people, because there's reality TV hot people, reality TV good cookers, and then reality TV <laughs> gross <laughs> people, which yeah. is the Big Brother group. Um, oh. <laughs> People. Don't play yourself like that, man. Hey, look, I got you. Got to be realistic. Um, <laughs> amongst the the reality TV hot people, who has the absolute worst reputation? Oh, Me. Question. You do not. <laughs> no, like, no. Oh, In my head, it was that. No. You know what? Like, I don't know. We all just like you, know, you all just end up hooking up with each other because you get like, invited to the same event. Does he have a bad rap? 
amongst I you guys. Kieran. Kieran's tried to hook up with me quite a few times. There's a lot of photos of us circling around on the internet at one of <laughs> the event that we were at. Um, when he had his neck, he had his um, he was nestled into my neck the entire time, and I didn't realize oh. it was there. Oh. Nestled into my neck the whole time. Oh, Heck you. A little nuzzle. That's fun. <laughs> but you know, um, I mean, look, probably, probably just the people that live in Melbourne. Okay, well that's great, <laughs> and that's why we're in lockdown. Yeah. 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 Hey, how tall Karen, is Karen Alex? Brought harm. <laughs> Karen yeah. brought the virus harm. A lot of people that live in Melbourne, a lot of reality stars in Melbourne, I feel, and I just feel like because they all go to the same events, they'll get invited. Everyone sort of just hooks up with everybody. Interesting. Um. Is there genuine bad blood between Kieran and uh, Matt? Matt? Yeah, Kieran messaged me uh, two days ago because um, I shit stirred Matt a little bit on a podcast earlier on. Yep. He rang me like five times because he was <laughs> going to be like, why are you talking about me? But, like, you know what, I, had, I, I, I don't like him. So, yeah, they're, they're, then um, Kieran messaged me and was like um, – Oh my god! I'm so glad that you shit you shit stirred uh, Maddie because so much has been shown that so so much had happened off camera that they couldn't see about how he was acting. But Matt's an arrogant little prick anyway. So who'd win in Who'd win in a fight between those two? Because in my head, yeah, Matt's like a BMX dude from Geelong. Well, well, Matt's in a nitro circus. Yeah, like he, dude can cop a hit. I reckon if you threw like a warm up, like a warmed up wheel of cheese at Kieran, he'd probably just deflate. Yeah, oh. Kieran's a lover, not a fighter, you know. Oh yeah, I, we know yeah. he's a lover. His test results have come in, and it's conclusive. <laughs> big oofed. That's big, big oofed. I like that. Like we're supposed to talk about other reality TV, but right now, oh, exactly. you know what? <laughs> we probably have episodes off right now too. Because Alex, Alex has been. Um, there was an article that came out the other day, and apparently it said that Alex had his eyes set on me, and I just laughed at it because I hadn't heard from him. Oh. Well, what Alex, the hot well, dude from the, the show? Out there, but the boys, he's definitely made trying to make some moves. Do you mean Alex, long black hair? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't watched the show. It's Alex Farmer. He's got, he's like, yeah, medium black. I guess medium length. He hair. looks like Jon Snow. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Alex from Game Ryan. of Thrones. Kira, right? Alex was Kira, yeah. Well, it was but, with. if that's your definition of with, then I've, <laughs> I've been with all the girls. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, just expectations for who the who the person they've been watching on TV thinks they end up with. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, shock horror. He's dating this person now. Shock horror. He's single. <laughs> Wait a second. The partner they chose from a reality TV show isn't their life partner. Oh no. <laughs> well, it's like Angels. Kira. Kira's dating Matt from Love Island now, and she announced that like ages ago before this had aired. But there was also promos with her coming to to Fiji. So that was like. A lot of fans were speculating, like, what is going on here? So we all knew that Kira didn't end up with anyone on the show. So it's always weird seeing her get a rose. And you're like, when is she going? When is she going? When is she going? Kira is the one that thinks she looks really hot, but she's just like a young Carrie Ann Kennelly, right? Yeah. 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 She is the female Kieran. She is as painful a human as I've experienced and is the definition of just mediocre confidence it yep. does my head in oh, mediocre confidence that is a rough way to describe someone Kira's not oh, a very watch nice her person. she's not a very nice person oh she's just not very approachable you know when people go on reality tv like shows and then they come off thinking that they're like a-class celebrities because they're on a shit reality tv show oh bro That's- she's like don't you know who i am and i'm like <laughs> nah yeah. dog that imba- that makes me feel secondhand embarrassed yeah. Yeah, my tummy feels sore just thinking yeah. about that. No hey, thanks. um, you know, but very rarely in the reality TV world does someone come off looking really good, regardless of whether you're an amazing person or not. That's fair. Uh, it's all about the editing, is it not? Yeah. Well, it's more just like I mean, in the like, in the above, like beyond reality TV fans, if you get a good rep, you've obviously done something pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, like if you if, if someone might remember David from Big Brother 2005, that he was the gay farmer. Yep, yep, yeah, I, I kind of remember. You know what I mean? Like, like that was, he was a country boy, he came out, he spoke, like, normal people oh. that don't watch reality TV were like, that's a wonderful person, we that's love this nice. guy. <laughs> Alicia from um, Bachelor in Paradise has come across looking really, really good, uh, and women across the country are sort of cheering her on as a empowered, supportive figure. Yeah. And I have the hot goss 
that I matched with her on Tinder, she wouldn't go on a date. <laughs> Wait, don't you have a girlfriend? No, uh, this is about two years ago. Oh. Uh, and it's, I'm absolutely joking. We're, we talked a whole bunch and then I started dating someone and I had to apologize to her that we couldn't go on a date. Oh. Was, but yeah, Good she's a you, legend. Though. Absolute legend. And she works for the Labor Party, which shows sort of, you know, oh. she switched on. Yeah. Yeah. She's got she's got something going on in her brain. Um, wow. Okay, so we've talked a lot of Bachelor, a lot of Bachelor in Paradise. Fuck Apparently, you know nothing about this shit, don't you? <laughs> you ha- look at me just nodding and like just reacting to what you're saying, being like, "This is like truly scandalous." Like I'm I'm sweating because Hold on. I have you don't seen Lockie, the new Bachelor? Oh, I have. Oh, he's in Survivor. Seen- nothing. Nothing. Okay, there were some human reacts- reactions from both Jessica and Crystal. Crystal, I'll go for you first before you slip off your seat. Tell us what you think. <laughs> um, so I obviously watched him in Survivor and I was like, oh, man. Oh, long- he was on Survivor? Yeah. He was on the last Australian Survivor, I think the last season of Australian Survivor. How'd he go? Um, I think he made it like. Enough to beat The Bachelor. He must have been on there for a while. They're not, yeah, he was they're not the dropping part. in he first like out, a, dude. A kind of romance. I didn't watch all of it. It was only bits and pieces because my mum loves it. So I occasionally would walk in on an episode and be like, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Sit down for 10, 15 minutes to walk away kind of thing. I think he was there for a while and then he ended up seeing a girl off the show as well. They were kind of getting really, really friendly. Sure. Um, and then once the show had aired and stuff like that, I think they didn't last and – Oh, surprise, surprise. Yeah. Jess, your thoughts? He's you look delicious. like you're into it. He's delicious. <laughs> mm. Ooh, is he a snacky? Is he a snacky dacky? He's not a snack. Yeah. He's a whole meal. He's tall. Oh. He looks tall as shit. I can Google this guy, don't I? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, like, right. You got to... Just to be involved. I'm like. Oh, oh, he's like, I think, 6'5". So he's, I think, I guess yeah, that jelly. height. If I'm right, I will be. Oh, okay. I understand. I, re- he would, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. Has he got a Southern Cross tattoo? No, don't ruin it for me. I think he might just. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He has, he has a strength and honor tattoo right across, like a yeah. big one, just across yeah. his chest. Six foot five. He's got a really nice smile on him too. He does. Yeah, so good set of chops. 